I was going on to them, saw how to make beats for two house. It's more like a house EDM type beat. So let's get straight into it. First sound I got here is just a pad sound. This is a MIDI I got from my boy Diotti Lucas. This is the pad texture from Shinju Serum Bank. It sounds like this. So yeah, just this, you know, simple pattern up here and then just a bass line. Um, when I first tried in the MIDI, it had a top line up here, but I deleted it. Just kept it simple. Then the next sound here is just a bass. I wanted to go for like a distorted bass with a lot of high end. So I grabbed this bass, I'm Crazy. It's from a Rob Made It kit. Here's what it sounds like. So in terms of mixing, uh, first off on that first pad, the mixing is EFX Motions, just adding this like side chain and filter, and then also a portal preset, this dyno preset from uh, whatever kit. Um, and then on the bass, I added a shaper box, um, side chaining it, and then I just added an OTT boosting the low end and some mid end and just basically every frequency. Next is just a simple synth from Serum. This is the synth trumpet from a Shinzu Serum Bank. And then I just laid down a few simple notes here. The sound has like a ton of delay on it and or in reverb, cool little background sound. So here's what it sounds like. So yeah, super wet sound. I know, I know Two House uses sounds like this a lot in his beats just to like fill up space in the melody. It goes down and then it kind of comes back up. Kind of creates almost a wave pattern in the piano roll. The first thing is distortion cold fire. It's just adding distortion. It's the drums ripper preset. And then some reverb. I did a ton of wet and I turned up the decay. And uh, some delay. It's not a ping pong delay and I set it to one and a half. Next I just layered that pad with another sound. I think this is technically an ARP, digital cinema layer. It's either an ARP or a pad from Pigments. And yeah, I just laid the same MIDI down here. First thing is just fast distortion. Um, I turn the mix down, like as you can see, very low right here, so it's not really that noticeable. Shaper box, this is side chaining it. And then, like, the main effects are coming from this EFX motion preset. So, you know, as you can see, volume, filter, these aren't on, but then there's some um, you know, beat repeat effects on here. And yeah, that's basically it. Also, an EQ, this is literally just here to make it louder, but yeah. Next, I layer that sound again. Um, but this time it's in a chord preset. It's just a like saw. I just made this preset myself. I just put these two oscillators in and then I turned up the unison super high. And then on this one I just added like a random animation. I turned this, I put this LFO on bend. But that's basically the only different, that's basically the only thing I changed for this one. And then I added some noise and a sub, an octave down. Also these are what the effects look like. Just a super simple preset. Um, it's just like a chord preset. So here's what it sounds like. And then obviously, as you can tell, there's a side chain on it, a little shaper box. So those are all like the synth sounds, but I still, um, I still thought the melody needed some like vocals. So this is the first it's like a vocal chant thing. Grab this from a Moon Boy kit. Sounds like this. So here's what it sounds like without effects, because I added a lot onto it. It was dry originally. And then, the, as you can tell with effects, it sounds a lot different. So first off, Fruity Phaser, I think this is just the default preset. Reverb, Effects Motions preset, that's what's adding like, it almost sounds like a drum loop or like a percussion loop in the background. That's, I think it's just the noise. And then some effects here. Then Love Filter, this is also giving it that like chopped kind of weird sound. I think it's, it's one of these filter presets. And then just a delay. Next, I did this second vocal chop. Same kit. Yeah, it has a few effects on it, so I'll break those down after. Here's what it sounds like. That has phaser. Um, phaser is cool for vocals, especially if I want them to kind of be ambient. Uh, it just adds like a weird kind of sound to them. Delay. 
ping pong delay, reverb, I wanted to make it more wet, and then shaper box, this is panning it back and forth, one fourth, I only turn this on for this little section right here, it's a little like chop, I'll break that down in a second, and then this is a third vocal, but it's, it's just this vocal right here, but what I did is I cut, I believe I cut right here, and I took this little like ambient part that didn't have any chopping on it, and then I just repeat it over a few times, flip this, this chop right here, and do its own thing, it sounds like this. <laughs> So that one's like super ambient. Um, I had a ton of reverb, ton of decay, ton of decay, and ton of wet. Shaper box. This has panning back and forth, a little bit of bit crush, but I turned the mix down to nine percent. And then reverb, which I'm automating to come in every one bar at the end. And then also gross beat on the scratch preset. Yeah. So that's the whole melody. And then this little chop thing. Um, I just kind of wanted this to happen every four bars. I thought it sounded cool. With this automation clip, I'm automating the volumes so that none of the effects like play longer than the actual audio clip plays. Um, I just did this manually. Every time there's not a clip, I turn the volume down to zero. And yeah, that sounds like this when you do it. It gives us a cool like choppy thing that comes every, again every four bars. There's actually one more sound I forgot too. It's this lead pattern. This lead is from one of my upcoming kits. I just added it after because I thought the melody needed something, uh, something else. It's this lead me a more and yeah it just sounds like this um i left that sound dry there's nothing on it but the delay and the reverb in this in the preset sounds pretty cool already so i left it like that and here's what the whole melody sounds like together And then, yeah, next time I move on to the drums. These drums aren't really that complex, just a few sounds. First thing here is just this kick, and yeah, just a four on the floor pattern. Here's what it sounds like. Super repetitive pattern. Then I added the snare pattern. Yeah, this hits on every other kick, and then I layered it with another snare also, but here's what this first snare sounds like. And then the other snare sounds like this. Here's what they sound like together. And then the last uh, drum sound, which is this open hat I have hit right here every two bars. So here's what it sounds like. I just kind of want to grab like a natural open hat or like an acoustic open hat. And yeah, it's basically it. For the beat though, just some pads, a bass, synth, another pad, chord, lead, and then the vocal chops. I think the vocal chops make the beat a lot more interesting. They just add like a natural element to the beat so it's not straight synths and then yeah super simple drums and actually i'll play what they sound like all together and yeah that's it for the beat in terms of arrangement i just did like i um showed earlier it's just these little chops that come in every few bars and then for like the th second part of the chorus, you could say i'll, I'll treat this like an intro so for the second part of the chorus, i take out the drums for a second and then bring them back in without the snare and then this is like a bridge then verse just the kick pattern and then back to this another bridge and yeah just pretty simple arrangement not much to it in terms of the um automation clips this is the gross beat on the vocal chop that has like the scratch thing i turned it off i didn't want it to play during this chop and then these are panning presets on shaper box i just wanted to like i wanted these chops to pan back and forth i thought that i thought that made them sound even cooler and yeah that's the whole beat this right here is like a noise sidechain thing. Just like something random. Thought I'd add it in the chorus. Yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you want to get any of my kits, you can go to headshark.com to get all those. Um, yeah, that's it.